actually think it's bad politics. But As President Trump ended one showdown with Congress, he set off another. The yeas are 83, nays are 16. Ending the threat of another government shutdown, the Senate and House of Representatives passed a spending bill that does not include the $5.7 billion President Trump wanted for a border wall with Mexico. But as the president signaled he would sign that measure, the White House said Trump will also declare a national emergency on the border, giving him access to contingency funds that Congress has already approved. He will also be issuing a national emergency declaration at the same time. And I've indicated to him that I'm going to prepare, I'm going to support the national emergency declaration. Democratic leaders immediately promised a challenge. President Trump couldn't convince Mexico. He couldn't convince the American people. He couldn't convince their elected representatives to pay for his ineffective and, and expensive wall. So now he's trying an end run around Congress in a desperate attempt to put taxpayers on the hook for it. Make no mistake, Congress will defend our constitutional authorities in every way that we can. Democrats say it's hard to argue that illegal immigration is a crisis when border arrests are at a 40-year low. We will review our options. We'll be prepared to respond appropriately to it. I know the Republicans have some unease about it, no matter what they say, uh, because if the president can declare an emergency on something that he has created as an emergency, an, an, an illusion that he wants to convey, just think of what a president with different values can present to the American people. Democrats and even some Republicans warn the president is setting a dangerous precedent, opening the door for future presidents to achieve unilaterally what they could not get out of Congress. A future Democratic president they say could one day declare global warming or gun violence to be national emergencies. The Democrats who control the House have already signaled they will vote on a bill to block emergency funding for a border wall. But in the Republican-controlled Senate, that measure is unlikely to pass. If Trump can overcome a certain court challenge, that would give him the chance to fulfill his promise to fund a 2,000-mile wall, if not the promise that Mexico would pay for it. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Washington.